If your personal garden is overflowing with tomatoes, I know mine is, we have an idea about what to do with those. Tomato jam. Now it's a cross between marmalade and ketchup and local chef superstar Char Morris shows us how it's done. Hello, it's Chef Char and I have a treat today. Look at the tomatoes. I have tomatoes coming out of my garden. I've got to do something with them. I love ripe tomatoes out of the garden. I'm going to make some tomato bacon jam. Let me show you how. I started off by browning one pound of bacon. I cooked it till it was crispy. I, when I rented off that fat, I reserved it and I added back to that two diced sweet onions. Then I put in eight cups of diced homegrown tomatoes, added back that bacon after it cooled and I diced it. Then I added one cup of brown sugar, stirred that in, one cup of balsamic vinegar, stirred that in. And then I added about two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt and one sprig of fresh rosemary mixed. For one hour over medium heat, I simmered the sauce and I stirred it occasionally. In the end, I had to stir it a little more than at the beginning, but it got nice and thick. And here we go. I put that into a container, one for me, one for the freezer. That's tomato bacon jam for me. But if I'm giving it away, I will put it in tiny little jam jars and tell my friends, use it within six days because it will mold. It doesn't stay forever. But this is how I tell them to use it. I say, hey, put it on a burger. Put some blue cheese or some goat cheese once you flip that burger to sear that second side. And let your goat cheese or your blue cheese melt while your tomato bacon jam caramelizes all over that. Put it on a bun with some lettuce and tomato and we have a summer treat. Oh, this is Chef Char. I hope that your garden is blessing you the way that mine is. And I hope you try this recipe. Bye.